this, Mama. I don't like the way she talked to me yesterday. I was just trying to welcome her and make her feel at home. But she treated me like an animal. I told you I never wanted Mama to come and stay with us in the city. Or you insist that she come. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't do wrong, Mom, and I had to go and stay there with us. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will talk to Mama, okay? I'm sorry. Stop the crying. Okay? I will talk to Mama, I promise you. Stop the crying. I go back to bed. Mama, what is the meaning of this? Wait and see the Mama, as you can see, I'm running out of time. I'm so getting late. Whatever you want to talk, I beg. Please, let it be postponed until after my return. No, Pierre. I will not wait. You are in this house enjoying all the best that life can give. But for me, I'm in my room crying every night because you are unable to get me bread. Mama, I am not God who gives children. No. When the appropriate time reaches, you will surely give mine. You know God. Just cry to him. Cry to him so that he will give him your own children. Cry, mama. But our turn is not here. Cry enough. Maybe God is not hearing you. Cry the more. But as long as I don't have peace in this house, nobody will. During all my son's money, while I'm in this house and unable to hold my own grandchildren.
going to regret having me at your son. Mm. I'm finished with you. shall see who owns Alice. Let me go to the village and return. Dearest, you will know how it feels to carry your child for nine whole months. Hm. And at the end, he chooses someone else. Mm -hmm. Let me go and come back. Then you will know. And I don't need a distraction. You know, as the officer said, work without play Miss Jagger double. Mm -hmm. But will you believe what I'm about to tell you? What? If I tell you Edward killed a big round two days ago and Mimi with his meat, will you believe that? I don't believe that because the Edward I know, we do not such thing. I say Edward killed a big round two days ago. And Mimi was a thief. He deliberately refused to give me a piece that I can take back home for Deputy and I to eat. Edward. Edward. 
teacher's friend now. At least you should have just given a letter. You guys please discussing me. Yes, Edward. And what do you have to say concerning that? And of course, nothing. I promised my Naomi I was going to kill her a very big animal. Okay? And I was just fulfilling my promise. So there's nothing about that. Okay? Naomi, you. And, and let me inform the both of you. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. We are going to Naomi's house. To her parents' house to pay her back rent. The reason why I'm working hard like this is to generate more money. I know I don't have much money now, but it's to generate more money and go and pay Naomi back rent. So the both of us can spend the rest of our lives together. We're going to be arms in arms. <laughs> May the gods and the spirit of your late parents guide you through your endeavor. Amen. Oh, and I can't wait to see a smile on your face once again. And let me just let me just say this. You guys, all I need is your support and guidance in the process. So we'll definitely do that, Edward. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's continue work. Thank you, Mr. Woman. And no more distraction. Thank you, Mr. Woman. Thank you, Mr. Woman. Thank you, Mr. Woman. Well, I'm working hard to get more money, pay your bar price so we can spend the rest of our life together, my love. I love you. The day I lose you, I would just, I would just vanish. 
and be gone. Oh, for bit, you would not lose me. Naomi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. My mother asked me to bring this coconut. Thank you. I'm very sorry, mother. Thank you for me. How are your parents? They are fine. Naomi. Mama, I'll be on my way. Thank you so much. You are very beautiful. Um, I'm Mary. I'm fine, thank you. Please don't forget to say thank you to your mother. Mary. Mary. Please thank you. Okay. Don't forget to thank your mother for me. Bye bye. Did your husband return from the meeting? No, he did not come. 
Can I see our presence? Naomi. What is it? The cost. Second thing. I am fine. No, you are not. With that look on your face. Naomi. We are your friends. What are friends for? Naomi. The way we are saying things, you alone cannot handle it. Talk to us, we are all here. Look, it's all about Mama. Mama? What has Mama done this time? Can you imagine that Mama wants me to marry my Rebecca's son in the city? Wow! <laughs> Is that why you are sad? Oh, is that why you are out of reach? Dr. Second thing. What are you girls thinking? Are you not considering the father that, that, that loves Edward? Did I hear you say love? <laughs> Can't you see that we are all into one another? I mean the gift. Hey, tell me out. What love? What Edward has to offer you? What? Naomi. Naomi. Look. Look at my son and daughter. The one I just came from the city. This is what she got for her mother. The opportunity is here right now, in the hands of Naomi. What do I do? I mean, how do I go about doing this? 
is not hard. Okay? It's not. No. With time, he will get away. If he is destined for you, you guys will surely meet. And who knows? Things will work out. Because it's right. And for him, do not expect anything to him. It's so hard for me. No, it's not hard. Okay? And that reminds me. Three cheese that look on the face. Today is the day to be there out of the world. So, <laughs> I have the things in the kitchen. Can we go now? I <laughs> know. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Help me, please. Help me. Help me. Wait for me. Tell me what is going on. For the past two weeks now, I've been looking for you. I can't find you. I'll go to your house, send for you. You don't want to come. Help me. Talk to me. Help me. Talk to me. Whatever it is, we can work it out now, me. Help me, please. Talk to me. What is going on? Come on now, me. You can keep silent. I need to know exactly what is going on. I love you, you know that. Please, now, me. Talk to me. Whatever it is, we can work it out. Keep in silent and see what's killing me. Now, me, come on. Talk to me, now, me. Now, me. I'm losing my Naomi. I'm losing my Naomi. I'm losing my Naomi. And the world is turning against me. So my will tell me where my Naomi is. Edward. Edward, we are there looking for him all over. Um, oh my God. Edward, what is wrong with you? Do you want to kill yourself? No. Oh. Last time I saw him acting like this was when his parents died. Oh my God. I think it's because of Naomi. He's acting this way. Naomi? I'm sure. But have you seen Naomi in, in, in recent time? No. For the past time, I've not seen her. But why and how? I don't know. But I think we need to ask him to answer that question because he's the right person. Edward, talk to us. We are your friends. What's the problem? I'm losing Naomi. Something is telling me that I'm losing Naomi. And how, how do you know? <laughs> 